Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can use your PlayStation 3 uh, joypad as a joystick for your PC. Now this only works on XP, but I'm going to show you how to do it on sister uh, because my internet's down. So we'll come down to this computer later on because this is an XP computer and this is where all my programs are installed. But I'm going to show you the, the website where you can install the programs for using your PlayStation 3 joypad as a joystick for the computer. Let's go upstairs to my laptop. Okay, now the thing that will work on Vista is you can actually use your PS3 joy joystick pad, but um, the controls will be all wonky, like up will be to attack or whatever. Okay, so first what you got to do is go on the internet. Wait for that to load up should go on Google and type in how to use a PS3 controller on MAME. So how to use a PS3 controller on MAME. Okay. Then just search that. Okay. And uh click on the second link, it should say qj.net after it. So um, click that, and uh, it should take you to ps3.qj.net, which it has done. See? And then it'll tell you all the instructions. But it's hard for some people to understand. This took me three days to sort out. So this is what you've got to do. If you click on that link, like this, okay, it'll load up with qj.net, ps3.qj.net. Uh, go down, it says hands on user of Saxis on PC, uh, 6-axis, whatever. The axes won't work, but the uh, analog and stuff will work. So, um, Click on si 6-axis driver for PC. It'll take you to dl.qj.net. And that's where you want to download it. When you download it, it should be like this. You should get three files. Um, these are the three files you'll get. Sorry, lost that then. These are the three files you'll get. Run the first file, because that will install the thing that uh, recognizes your PS3 controller. Run that, and once you've installed that, <laughs> extract ps 36 axis underscore en dot exe to uh, your desktop. Okay? Okay, once you've extracted that to your desktop, uh, you're underway for connecting your... PS3 controller to it. Now, first of all, it may not work if you just click on it right there. Uh, it will just not work. So what you've got to do is you've got to download another program, and uh, it's still on the same site. This site. Uh, if you go down to the comments, it just say this. Pencil game profile. Profile. Just copy the link that's there and download it off there. And then you're on the way. And then you need to sort everything out on your Windows XP computer. Okay, so this is how you do that. Okay, once PS3 6 Access is on your um, desktop, open up. Pinnacle game profile. It should just be a little box, and it'll get all your controllers you've got, and it'll get all your uh, emulators you got. So there's main priority two. Uh, so now we have to plug in the PS3 controller, and I'm going to show you what you do now. You plug it in to the top the PS3 controller, which is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and 
Okay, then you plug the other end into your computer. So I'm going to do that. Okay, it's plugged in. So, my PS3 controller is flashing because it's charging. But now what you got to do is just say on um, Pinnacle Game Profile, PlayStation R3 controller. Don't click play yet. Play yet because first it will have no configurations. So what you got to do, you got to click on Game Profiles. Right here, just click yes if anything pops up. Uh, edit configurations for the game controller, and then um, what you've got to do now is run PS3 Six Access EN. Just run it, and then press the home button on your PlayStation 3 controller. You should then read it. Click on PlayStation R3 controller, and when you click start or something, something should pop up down as well. If not, just keep. Yes, it does. If not, just keep pressing PS3 six axis E N, and then just keep pressing home button. But yes, it does. And say you wanted the start button to be number one, you set quick assessment up and press number one on your keyboard. Then when you press start, you'll do number one. It will do what number one would do on your keyboard. Okay, that's for games. Then, uh, once you've done all your controls for your PS3, run away. And uh, you save and close your changes. Okay. This controls the keyboard and mouse. So, um, and then click play. And your mouse will all of a sudden go wonky. Because after that, your PlayStation 3 controller will control the mouse. Sorry, wrong analog. So you move this analog right here, the one near the X button, and then that controls the mouse. See? Anyway, if I just click enter, I chose L3 as enter. This is Killer Instinct, and if I press the left, they'll give me credits. And then if I press start, it'll count as number one, and number one is to enter and play the game on Killer Instinct. And then I just use the analog to control it. And then uh, once I've chosen my character, I'm going to choose Cinder. I just fight. And I can't really fight with one hand, but... Once you've got all the controls sorted, it's very easy to play. And that's how you use your PlayStation 3 controller on emulators. So, thanks for watching.